Hi there, sign of Aries. This is Kim here to do your reading. This reading is going to be for the next 48 hours from whenever you get it or whenever you get this reading, whenever you see this reading. Okay, let's get into this. So I always open up for your spirit team uh, so that we can get messages that's for your most high. And uh, what we're going to do is pull a Celtic cross today, and we will clarify. And this is just regular old tarot. So, angels and spirit guides, what kind of messages do you have for Aries? Already, right off the bat, Aries, I'm noticing that the Nine of Cups is wanting to come out. It's, it is here. It is on the split. That is a good sign. So let me make sure, and I'm probably gonna check on the camera every now and then because I'm not used to filming here. But I'm grateful to be filming here. All right, so um, that's just for Aries. What's the issue? What's the issue for Aries? Oh, that's funny. It's like the opposite of Leo's issue. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe that has something to do with this. I don't know. Um, so what you got is a six of swords. It's in the reverse. Mm -hmm. There's something that you're saying to yourself. I don't know. I think I'm going. It, it feels like you are telling yourself that you're going against your intuition by not just leaving a situation. But... Um, like, I don't want to do that again. Like, that that's the kind of energy I'm picking up with that. So, we'll, we will uh, figure it out. <laughs> don't worry, we'll figure it out. Uh, what is the challenge for Aries? What is the challenge? Queen of Swords Reverse. It has to do with it, something that you're really not decided. I almost feel like this is saying... Um, you would like to go to your true north, but something in you is like saying, but I'm not so sure. I haven't really decided. So there's some kind of decision about what direction you're, you're wanting to go in. Ultimately, it's not that your intuition's wrong. It's just that you. I feel like you just haven't made up your mind yet um, as to some kind of big decision for yourself. What is at the heart of the matter for Aries? So the Six of Swords is usually leaving something behind and like leaving a hard or difficult situation behind. You may be you may be in a difficult situation at this time. Like you might be experiencing something um, hard. Might have to do with an Aquarius energy, the Libra energy. It might be about uh, justice issues or something like that. Something about what direction you're wanting to go in. Um, Libra, Queen of Pentacles, like the heart of the matter is the Queen of Pentacles, which is a card that we associate with um, Capricorn um, because it's a really grounded energy. The Queen of Pentacles is um, really good at, at kind of like handling those things at home. So handling those, the, the things at home and business. I take it as a person that can do all things, like all roles. Oh, the Emperor in reverse, you're really not feeling like yourself right now. Mm. <clears throat> Ooh. Past energy, the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Might be a Taurus energy associated with the attributes of that card. Uh, the Five of Pentacles in the reverse is a feeling of... Um, to me, it's like, I don't want, I don't really want to be alone at this time. Um, and, and, and that you have accomplished quite a bit, that you have managed to pull yourself um, out of a, a situation that was, well, we could say like a scary situation. Hmm. A temporary, maybe fine. Maybe you pulled yourself out of, you know, ill health into better health. It could be like whatever worry it was, you conquered it. And so it's it wasn't easy, but 
whatever worry that represents financial or health or something on the material realm, um, you're able to conquer it. What's the crowning energy for Aries? And then we are going to go back and we're going to clarify the things that we need to. Tell me about the crowning energy for Aries. The world. Hmm. Okay, and the way that it's coming out. So here's, here's the world card. The way that it's coming out tells us that there is still a chapter that is kind of like winding up, about to complete, or something that... Um, it feel you know what it just channeling the messages intuitively this world card feels like destiny it feels like something that is not really comfortable but not uncomfortable either it feels like something that has been a really long trip and and the journey is still going and now that there's um maybe a completion in view there's there's still uh that might be why there's these big decisions um, about so this might have been a difficult chapter for you it could very well have been a difficult chapter for you since it's like that it might have to do with a capricorn or it might have to do with a fixed sign which would be um aquarius taurus scorpio leo tell me about um aries future energy future energy for aries well that's good that's how you want to see it so that's the Ten of Swords in the reverse. That is exactly how you want to see that. These Swords cards are are both in reverse. It's kind of making me feel like there's something that you're not overly thinking about anymore. So some something about really stressing over a hard um, backstabbing from from almost destiny, like what like looking back and saying that was really hard to go through. It left me having to start completely over, um, meaning that something completely ended, whether it was a relationship or someone going out of your life, but it was a hard thing to go through. It's kind of like, um, it's just a hard thing and, and it's a completion of something that was really hard. Uh, sometimes it represents feeling that you were betrayed by somebody and possibly there could be a rebirth in a relationship where you're feeling like, I don't know if I should um, believe like in, in this relationship or in this situation again. But I think that this this is like representing a rebirth of something, um, something that's like totally new because there's a chapter that has ended. Um, how does Aries feel? How does Aries feel? Oh, Aries, beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, the full, <laughs> you feel like, um, like there is something that is in store for you. You're not really sure what that is but you already know to stop and smell the roses. <laughs> this full energy is like the sun's out because there's something new for you to experience. And I feel like you're just, um, this card is representing Aries being kind of unaware of what's in what's ahead, but optimistic, um, keeping the faith in a sense, uh, or taking a leap of faith. Uh, that that something about what direction you're going to go in, if, though it's unknown, um, you're willing to take that leap of faith because it's time, like I said, for something really brand new. Even a fresh start comes to mind. Um, yeah, okay. This is beautiful. Tell me about, tell me about in the environment right now. What is Aries uh, dealing with in their environment right now? Mm. <laughs> okay, so the nine of wands. Wow. We haven't ever given up on ourselves, <laughs> Aries. That's that's how I'm taking this card. Um, I do get the meanings from the card meanings, but traditional tarot, but also intuitively, it's telling me that you're um, you're still recovering from some wounds. 
You know, you, you've um, defended and stuck up or per persevered like in hard times and you're still like mending your wounds. But this determination and persistence is just one of your attributes when you see this card and know that you are healing for sure when that card comes out. I feel like the way that it's, it's laying like that, it might be saying that it might be time for you to conserve some energy, meaning don't give as much, you know, watch who you're giving um, or how much of energy you're giving to people and situations in your life. Sagittarius, beautiful. The hope or fear, what's the hope or fear? For Aries, please, hope or fear. Connecting these two, isn't it? It's the Ace of Swords. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. All right, you're hoping for the whole truth, nothing but the truth, the information. Y you have the intelligence. You have the victory here in your hands. This could even represent a very brilliant idea, but it is the beginning, and it's like something new here. You're armed with uh, all the information that you need for a victory when you get the Ace of Swords. Uh, it, it definitely can indicate that there's some kind of big victory up ahead for you. All because there's a new chapter and you never gave up um, on yourself. And, and that is why wounds are healing and things are getting better for you the ace of swords i would some some of you might be like i fear that the truth you know whatever this truth is i really hope that it's something good because you could fear that it might not be the truth but this is saying no no there's nothing to fear there's nothing to fear you hold um you hold that sword of truth and now i've got a card that has dropped on the floor for your outcome <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna get two. I always get two for the outcome, so I have Knight of Cups. It landed like that. Um, I'm kind of feeling like it's it's a mixture. I feel like it's an in-between movement, and you're really, really questioning whether somebody's offer is genuine or not. Yes, yeah. This, there's some kind of really important soul contract or commitment that you have with another person, with the lover's energy, that you're at a crossroads. So you got to make a big decision. You don't want to make a dis. You don't want to feel like your intuition let you down, right? So I feel like this is about a specific person or situation. The Seven of Wands is, um, it's saying keep on standing up, you know. Uh, march forward, uh, stand tall for what you want. I feel like you're you're questioning somebody's motives or whether their actions are actually going to match up with their words. Um, this is a good sign that they probably are. But he, what's the other card here that we have? Oh, beautiful! Your your own energy here with the emperor. This energy is yours and the emperor is the boss. You are either bossing up or you are hesitant at the moment because you're willing to fight and defend for what you uh, want. You're ready to assert yourself. But right now, I feel like because the Knight of Cups is in the reverse, is that you're in this stage where something or someone has to kind of prove to you that it's worth this. And I think it will be like do you standing up for either them or the situation. So assert yourself and I and when the time is right, things will get moving again. Um, I will clarify it because it might be talking about a specific person. Um, but there's something that you're just you're really questioning. Is this genuine or not? Uh, and the lovers really is indicating that it's, it's quite a big deal. <clears throat> oh, the, the moon and the strength. To unknowns Pisces in confidence here of Leo. So some of these unknowns, <laughs> yeah, I see the death card wanting to peek out right here. I don't know if you see that. But there is the death card wanting to peek out, which death cards uh, in tarot represent, like, can represent the transition um, of a transformation and going, you know, from, from a difficult time into something very, that's completely new to you. 
So it could be just like, you know, that Vito song, just like starting over. It can be just like starting over for something. Um, and you have like the emperor energy. When you're in your emperor energy, you have the strategy. You know, you know the right things um, to do. You know the right moves. And you can win whatever metaphorical war you have ahead of you. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Tell me about this. Yeah. <laughs> Two of Cups in the reverse. It's a, it's a partnership that you have been proven before that you cannot trust. And therefore, you're, you're exhibiting extreme caution before you move forward. All right. So that's smart, right? What is the Queen of Swords in the reverse as a challenge? What is the Queen of Swords in the reverse as a challenge? It's because you're viewing this partnership as somebody that wasn't using their mind. Um, the partnership didn't work because they were kind of like illogical. They weren't using their mind. Um, the nine of swords is say, is to me is saying that, um, the, the challenge is this is a little bit of depression and anxiety that goes into whatever this decision is. You feel like it's kind of not up to you or, hmm. Tell me a little bit more, because that can be you going through a difficult, like a dark night of the soul. Like, you need to really watch that just because something happened in the past, you need to watch that you're not carrying over, um, like, prejudgment on what could happen in the future. With the, with the full card, I feel like your feeling is that you can have faith in something or someone. Um... Yeah, you don't know what decision to make because some on some level you feel like it's not your decision, but you, that you will stand up for, fight for, actively fight for somebody. Tell me about the Ten of Swords in the reverse, and then we're going to go to the heart of the matter. I don't know why I jumped, but tell me about the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a rebirth in... Um, a partnership that was unfair. It was off balance. It was you doing all the work. You always being the one putting in so much work that you're the one that got hurt the most once the things don't work out. Um, somebody didn't, it wasn't even, right? Injustice is in the reverse. It can very well be um, a situation with the justice system or with something legal. Uh, that you that maybe needs a fresh new start you know I mean it could be somebody like that but I feel like it's a partnership there there's obviously an indication that there is a partnership that is not together and for some of you all this is a, a partnership that um it's like it's like a reincarnation <laughs> of a partnership I don't know how else to say it um doesn't have to be legal it can really be about balancing the scales out um, but something has to completely end and be done and looked at in a different way or have a different strategy what's the queen of pentacles here um, with the heart of the matter the matriarch the matriarch um i have the ace of swords in the reverse and the three of wands I, in the reverse, okay, because there was something that was really surprising. There was some kind of like information that, that a person, it might be the matriarch energy, but there was some kind of information that somebody withheld from you. And um, when you found out this information, it was a surprise. And it let you know, oh, that's why the partnership wasn't balanced. Oh, that's, that's why I feel like I can't trust my own intuition here because somebody was able to like, uh, lie to me or not tell me the truth about something pretty big I feel like either keeping something from you or just flat out lying about something the good thing is is that this this to me feels like your issue is dealing with your fears but here is like what spirit is saying this is actually what is what is coming in like you know the information now or you know, like, what you need to know now. Let me get a sip of water. And, like, I want this really dry. What time are we at? We're at 19 minutes. Okay, so we're going to clarify. Um, 
we're going to clarify a little bit about the world and maybe Tara will let us know uh, what, what kind of completion we can have. Okay. Well, that was good. That was refreshing. Okay. So, <laughs> kind of pull that over. Nine of um, Wands here next. We'll clarify that next. Tell me about the world energy. Um, what does Aries need to do for a completion? What else does Aries need to do to end this chapter, begin another? What is, else does Aries need to do to end this chapter, begin another? Oh my goodness. Trust your own intuition. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, this is the way to see it. This can indicate that finances are going to dramatically improve, or this is going to indicate that there's going to be a new chapter where the health is better, a lot better, where your health is a lot better. Whatever it was that you were worried about, that you conquered in the past, you have a new chapter and you're still, as long as you apply, you know, the things that you have done in the past that were successful, it's going to um, work out just fine. Wow, so that's what, all you need to do is whatever it was that you've done in the past. <laughs> yeah, because I, I, I get the feeling like you weren't the one that was telling the the untruth. Like, you know what I mean? I believe that you were surprised that somebody else wasn't telling you uh, the truth about something pretty big with that Ace of Swords. Um, And then the Nine of Wands, so you're taking care of your wounds. You could literally be healing and, you know, our health is, it's holistic, the way that we get affected. So your health can be affected by the psychology of what's going on in your life, too, of, or most certainly it can. So this is like you healing physical and emotional wounds to me um, and persistence. Give me something else on um, Aries' environment. What else do you want to tell them about their environment? Whoa. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you got another full, guys. You got another full card. I love repeats. So the repeats you have, which is the Ace of Swords, which here um, is saying, Spirit is saying, yeah, that ends up being an upright. You, this ends up being a tr like you end up getting truth. You have the full in your environment, so you have the energy. It might be even feeling like um, anxiety, but it might be actual excitement or anticipation because you can feel that there's something kind of new ahead and um it's something that you know see how his hands are like that it feels like a journey or a voyage and it feels like you're gonna feel so free you know um enlightened and free the knight of swords um is kind of indicating that this change in your environment was quick it was something that happened really quick and uh, most of the time, the Knight of Swords can be overwhelming energy, uh, yet very rewarding at the same time. So tell me a little bit more about um, how we get the truth in the future. Like, how do we know when we're going to move forward with this Knight of Cups energy? How do we know when to move forward? Another Ten of Swords. Oh, my goodness. My repeats mean that you really need to pay attention to it. That means you really have to kind of let something go, Aries. There's something that some kind of like um, where somebody betrayed you or somebody didn't tell you the truth or somebody made it harder for you to even live life. It's time to let it go. It's time to let it, that go. Yeah. It's time to trust your intuition that if you're feeling a new start or a new journey up ahead, that you're right. Um, and spirit saying, have faith. 10-10, that's also um, a sign for me and, and many people that uh, whatever this is, it was all in divine timing. I even have the tower on the bottom, meaning that whatever huge shakeup, whatever really painful ending this was, um, it was all in divine timing. And I feel like your faith in divine plan is it's just really needed right now. So, um, however somebody, when their actions didn't match their words or they told you a complete lie, <laughs> I think that's letting go of this feeling of like disappointment in a way. Hmm. All right. So tell me a little bit more 
um, about what is it that you're going to be uh, moving forward towards with this emperor and the seven of wands, the king of swords in the reverse. You're moving towards um, <laughs> uh, doing Aquarius energy possibly, but it, it it's <laughs> there is something that um, you would have done in a different way. There is something that probably isn't conventional. <laughs> it's not uh, by the book. And it feels like getting the truth um, or this new beginning, this fresh new start is kind of like full of characters that provide adversity for you, you know, like challenges, adversity. Yeah. And now it's time for you to really um, start being very disciplined. I feel like in something that either has to do with finances or health, because this is self-care, the Ace of Cups in the reverse. And this is like, you got to watch out so that you keep that discipline on your self-care because you're doing a good job. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Goodness. Goodness, guys. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to get a little bit more, but I want to use a different deck. Because I want to find out more about the King of Swords that's in the reverse. Oh, okay. Well, it, it might be your thoughts, like thinking over and over. The Five of Cups could mean that you're in a mourning period. Or the Five of Cups can mean that you're um, thinking about the regrets or the sad things. Um, so there's a need to, like, um, stop worrying so much. <laughs> I know that's easier easier said than done, right? Spirit, give us some advice here on this King of Swords. King of Swords. It fell on the floor and it landed sideways. I have the Nine of Wands. Um, perseverance, don't give up. Uh, maybe even an expert, calling in an expert. Uh, somebody that can help you take the best care of yourself possible. This is going to be a period of your life where you are showing yourself self-love. And there's 9-9 nine, nine again, meaning, yes, you are wounded. And sometimes we feel like we're in little bits and pieces. We've been through so much. But um, this is about an ending with the nines and um, accepting that. And then, you know, this moving forward. Yeah. All right. So persevere with your discipline approach. However, like I said, you did something in the past. However, that happen and that's it <laughs> so spirit give me your advice on uh what they're what are they finding their authority in um with this outcome the emperor give us some more advice spirit from spirit from your angels <clears throat> advice now on the reading don't take risk heavy risk at this time yeah You'll know when to move forward. Oh, wow. When the, ur the urge is going to absolutely take you over. Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups. You might be having some travel. Um, yeah, not wanting to take a whole big risk. I get that. Feeling like a partnership or an investment was a big risk. So they're saying, no, don't. Yeah, don't invest right now in something if it feels like too big of a risk. Um there is something that it feels like it's either going to gain momentum or be unexpected that happens that lets you know, okay, now it's time. Everything's going to move forward. Now it's time. Two nights. And like I said, travel can be something. There also might be something about something about your dreams or in your dreams. Tell me more about um, these Queen of Wands. Chariot in reverse. There's the pause. So the Knight of Cups reverse and the Chariot in reverse, there's the pause. It could be issues with travel or not wanting to be really risky when it comes to travel or a, uh, a vehicle, needing a vehicle. Hmm. Or something taking a pause before it moves forward. Another fool. Oh my God. You got the, the fool, the fool, the fool. Statistically, you're like out of this world <laughs> because statistically, um, that's odd to have that much. That's a little bit past that standard deviation, two standard deviations. I believe that's past it for it to uh, come out like that. Wow. 
Wow. I'm, in, I'm sorry, Aries, I'm impressed by your reading here. Tell me more about the future, advice for the future with the Ten of Swords here. The Two of Wands. So plan, and especially for travel, there's something about not wanting to do something at the moment because of it being risky. I don't know what that means, but it will be different for everybody. But the Two of Wands is saying um, be planned, prepare, because you're about to be aligned with um, your higher self. This is you really focusing on what it is that you're wanting to come about. There's a few paths that you can choose from. And so this could represent the paths that you have to choose from also, or the choices. <clears throat> and another Ten of Swords. Like I told you, statistically, you're out of this world, Aries. Statistically, you're out of this world. <laughs> I'm serious. So you're ready to leave that, that stuff behind. Like, bye. Statistically, you're an anomaly. <laughs> I hope I said that right, an anomaly. So I'm gonna pull, um, <laughs> wow. I'm really impressed. I've kind of never seen it that much. I see it a lot in my readings, you know, uh, because that's what the energy does when it wants to really point something out. But three, oh my goodness, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. You know what I'm getting? That um, Aaliyah song is coming to my head. You're one in a million. Um, no, 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 no. You're more than a more than a woman. But it's it's basically about you know you're the best. You're one in a million. Like that's you're rare. You're a rare uh, person. Then then baby, you don't know what you did to me. Baby, can you see a thin again? Uh, you're a smile, you're to one in a million. It goes on and on and on. So even if a love ended with somebody or a partnership, the Spirit's saying your love goes on and on, and so does life. <laughs> I just don't want to get to hear that. All right, you're a starseed. You're a starseed. You're empathic. You may be psychic. You're a healer that knows your purpose now. You're life path number two. You're the master builder. You're uh, the ruling planet here is the moon. The moon's coming out another time for your reading. So some unknowns. Um, but yeah, so this was about a partnership. Definitely this, this reading was about that. Um, clear cognizance, clear knowing. Diamond Child, born between 210 and 211. Seven, life path number seven, the dreamer, ruling planet Neptune. Astrology, you have ancestral knowledge, kind of like built into your DNA. <laughs> you know, they really, they can fit like whole books on DNA. So they, they, they figured out how to do that. So it's very probable that you have some information encoded you know, within, or you're getting upgrades and starting to notice that. Sorry, this chair keeps <laughs> squeaking. It's like a little bitty. I don't usually use this chair. <laughs> anyway, air angel number to close out your reading, Aries. Your love is a one in a million. It goes on and on and on. You give me a really good feeling all day long. Yeah. So 888 says, I am abundant. As you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life, and you're creating a place for abundance. You have 888, I'm abundant, and they're really wanting to impress on you to focus, 1212, stay focused. Master number 33, I'm expanding any positive changes or projects you're considering right now will be well worth your while. Expect your power to manifest and create will be heightened. And that's what I've got for you guys. I do offer private readings still. Um, just send me an email, shoot me an email, and I will get back to you about that. They are affordable, I feel. And it's in the description box below that information. Um, otherwise, like and subscribe if you ended up liking this. I appreciate you coming back so you can get an energy update. Uh, bye, Aries.